It's time to learn Too Close on acoustic guitar. This song is going to involve learning five chords and they're going to be played in this way. B minor 7 is the first chord. D has a textbook D. E minor and then a G like this, G on the fretboard, and then F sharp on the fretboard, like that. Now we're going to form our B minor 7 by barring the 2nd fret, bringing in your 2nd finger and putting it on the D string at the 3rd fret, and then your 3rd finger or ring finger is going to go on the uh, D string at the 4th fret. Like that. Now when we play a chord we're going to play the bass note first and then we're going to use our index finger to come up from the B string like that. Like that. That's, that's how we're going to play our B minor 7. We're going to use a textbook D like that. And when we play our D we're going to play the D, the D note come up with our index finger from the E string, like that. Our third chord will be an E minor, which will be played at the second fret. Two middle fingers go to the second fret on the A and the D string. Now when we strum our E minor, we're going to just play the bass note, which is a low E, and come up from the G string so we can get the lower fundamentals of the chord like that and then we'll go to a G major chord which will be played this way now I've got my first finger on the G note at the third fret I've got my second finger at the fourth fret on the G string my third finger or ring finger is on the 5th fret on a D note on the A string and my pinky is just under that on the 5th fret on the D string and it sounds like this right now we're going to get the low fundamentals of the chord by playing the low note and then coming up like that and then we're going to move that down one half step or one fret to an F sharp, same chord, move it down like that. So that's our F sharp. Okay, now we're going to play it this way. B minor 7, and we're strumming the low note first. Then we're going to go to D. Then to E minor, coming up from the G string. Right. Then we're going to move up to the G chord, strike that one once, and then move down to F sharp, and strike that one once. So it's going to be played in this way. Now if you wanted to strum that straight ahead, you could use a strumming pattern, something like this. Just like that. And that was pretty easy. That's too close.